welcome to Artman. Today, I want to show you alcohol inks on Ambersand's clay board. Both of these are amazing products that give you fantastic results. So, come a little closer so I can show you the goods. The stars of the show today. One, my alcohol inks. These are pinata colors made by Jacquard Products. They are super concentrated dye-based inks that are absolutely gorgeous on any type of slick surface. So you don't really want to use a traditional paper. You want to use something that is uh, pretty impervious to water and slick. So I'm going to be using this on Ambersand's Clayboard. Clayboard is a museum quality surface. This is coated with kaolin clay. So it is a very porcelain-like finish that's very smooth, very slick, yet it's still absorbent. So one cool thing, this is on a museum quality hard panel, which gives me a nice rigid surface to work on, and I'll be able to tilt it around. It also doesn't blow around, so I can use things like hair dryers and everything won't blow off the table. So right off the bat, Two really awesome things when working with alcohol ink. Being, I'm going to start by putting down some alcohol. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. You want to get the purest alcohol you can get or even ethanol. And that's going to float your colors around. I know this is clear so you can't see it but it will help my colors to move around my surface. The kale and clay is a bit more absorbent than other rigid substrates that you work with in alcohol ink. Um, many people are familiar with ceramic tiles. Those are so slick that everything just washes around very quickly. This gives you a lot more working time. Things move a little slower. Gives you a lot more control over where your colors are going. That little piece is dry now and of course I can go back and work on this 
any time that I want. Or I can seal it up and get it ready for a wall. One thing that's really cool about these clayboard panels or inversant panels in general is that they are museum quality and they're ready to be mounted and hung as soon as you're done, essentially. You're gonna seal up your alcohol inks either with a uh, Kamar varnish and a UV protectant or go the extra mile with some resin. But look how sweet these go. Oh, these panels are perfect for putting resin on. So if you like that extra resin cherry look for a piece of art, these panels are perfect for adding resin as a top coat. They're nice and smooth finish gives you this beautiful, beautiful look. I love them. They also come cradled. And this is cool because then you don't have to worry about a frame. This one is in a floater frame. This one is already cradled. The uh, wood is actually this color and I painted the sides but you can get these in a huge variety of sizes. And this is where it gets interesting, folks, because alcohol inks are fun to do and they're crazy addictive. And once you get started, you're gonna want to make something big and bigger and bigger. And when you start getting into large sizes, problems start to arise. Like, how do I find a piece of glass or frame that's going to fit this? How do I mount it? How do I hang it? You can get these cradled clay boards up to a 48 by 72. Ha ha, did you hear that? A 48 by 72. That's ready to go on your wall as soon as it's finished and sealed. I'm excited and you should be too because that is big news. If you get a chance, try out Jacquard's Pinata Color Alcohol Inks on Ampersand's Clayboard.